Robots are complicated systems with a ton of data moving around responding to noisy events in the real world. An important tool when trying to debug problems with an autonomous robot is logging the data coming from the robot's various sensors and being sent to the various actuators. ROS gives us a utility for this called bag files. Bag files can be used to record messages being sent across ROS topics. These recordings include all of the timing and quality of service information, so we can also play back bag files, sending those same messages back into the ROS system in real time. This lets us record data while an interesting event is happening, and then replay that event in a debug environment as many times as we'd like to, so we can find out exactly what happened in our nodes and test changes meant to fix the problem. We use the ROS2 command line tool to interact with bag files with a couple of commands under the bag category. To demonstrate using bags, we'll start up three terminals. In the first, we'll run TurtleSim. In the second, we'll run the keyboard teleop node from the TurtleSim package. With these two nodes running, we can drive our turtle around the screen with our arrow keys. To reset our turtle's position, we can call the reset service with the empty service type from the std serves package. With all of that set up, we can record a bag of the velocity commands being sent to our robot. To do this, we'll use the bag record command. This is a simple way to use the record command, where we list the topics we're interested in recording in the arguments for the command. Running this command starts the recording process. Now we can drive our turtle around, and all the commands we're sending are getting saved into our bag file. Once we're done, we can stop the recording by killing the record command with Control c The record command created a new folder in our current directory, called rossbag2, followed by a timestamp. Within this folder is a metadata file describing the contents of the bag and a storage file holding the actual data. The bag system supports multiple different storage types, so the exact file type might be different depending on the storage type used to record the bag. To inspect the contents of our bag file, we can use the bag info command. Running ross2 bag info and then giving it the name of our bag folder. And it prints out the metadata for that bag. In this example, we can see that it recorded five messages on the turtle1 command vel topic over a period of about five seconds. Now, let's reset our turtle's position with that service call from earlier. And we'll play back our file with the bag play command. As the bag plays, we'll see our turtle drive around in exactly the same way as we had originally commanded it. The bag file is publishing the same velocity commands as our keyboard node did while we were recording. And this is the real power of logging data with bags. We can inject that data back into our system, and our nodes don't have to know the difference between live data from a sensor and recorded data from a bag. There are a bunch of other options you can tweak with the record command. And as always, the help flag will show you the complete list of options. These options can control things like where the bag is saved, what storage plugin is used, and quality of service overrides. It can even split the bag as you record it, such that each individual bag is limited to some max size. That's it for ROS bags, and this is the end of our ROS video series. Thanks for watching.